By the end of the Silurian period to the beginning of the Devonian, the first bony fish which can be recognized as belonging to the group known as Sarcopterygians, or the lobe fin fish, are recognized. Now, the Sarcopterygian fish would gradually become more like the amphibians until by the end of the Devonian period, Sarcopterygian fish had evolved into the first amphibian tetrapods. During this time, the ancestral swim bladder, which uh, early osteichthyan fish in the Silurian must have possessed, had uh, split into a pair of structures which are now known as lungs, uh, not only the ancestors of the lungs of tetrapods, but also those of lung fish, uh, so that this ancestral respiratory uh, bag had become true lungs as uh, somewhere in uh, the Devonian as these fish evolved. The skull of the Sarcopterygian fish became gradually more like those of the early tetrapods until the point where uh, the skull of the Sarcopterygian fish is almost indistinguishable from that of early tetrapods, including with the possession of a true neck as the pectoral girdle separated from the uh, skull. The bones in the fins of the Sarcopterygian fish evolved homologs of the humerus, the radius, the ulna, the femur, the tibia, the fibula, even carpal and tarsal bones. And so the major bones which would be present in the limbs of tetrapods evolved during the Devonian period in the fins of the Sarcopterygian fish. These and many other changes occurred during the Devonian period as Sarcopterygian fish gradually evolved into amphibians. The first amphibians possessed a number of adaptations which later tetrapods uh, would possess, such as three hip bones, uh, multi-jointed digits, which uh, would be limited to five by the end of the Devonian period. And so many significant changes in the adaptation of the human lineage occurred during the Devonian period.